Ricky, it's brilliant to see the Avora business growing at kind of over 300%. But I know, you know, it's a daily roller coaster ride for a chief executive of ups and downs. And a lot of folks out there, entrepreneurs, have asked me, kind of, what does it take in terms of personal resilience? How do you build a culture? You know, a very reflective but authentic view mm-hmm. of how you've been successful and, and what matters to you to keep well. Sure, sure. So, um... I guess break it down to a few areas. So uh, myself, um, uh, yeah. So individually, I think about exercising. Um, try, I don't do meditation. I've tried it. I can't do it. But I've tried. But um, for me, it's definitely uh, exercise um, and having mentors and coaches around that I can call upon. Um, I don't necessarily call upon them a lot, but it's important that you find someone who's been through that experience with you that you can just bounce ideas off, uh, especially when you're stressed in that given time. Um, I think it's um, super important to hire well um, so that you're trying to find people who have also been through this kind of growth stage. So having people that have done exactly from this kind of revenue and, and forward, um, it obviously removes a lot of the stress if people have been through this before and, and learned their lessons. Um, and, um, and then for the, you know, the, the company and our colleagues, um, we try to uh, focus on a work-life balance that tells them, you know, yes, customers come first, and, and it's very clear and open and transparent that customers come first, but really family comes first. And if there's anything family orientated, any issues, you need to take a break or, you know, put them first. So we try and do that. We try and launch things like um, employee assistance programs. We pay for, uh, you know, gym, private healthcare. Just, these are sometimes small signals, um, but what we care about is the well-being of everyone. You know, it, it can be stressful. Uh, I'd like to say it's not, but it is. And um, yeah, we're all in it together, and we just need to uh, make sure that uh, our, ourselves and our family are, you know, healthy. Otherwise, it just impacts work anyway. That's brilliant. And how much of your time when you started did you think about the culture that you were building? Yeah. So I think um, people ask me this, and I'm not sure I gave it necessarily that much thought. Um, as opposed to, we've always had a very open, transparent culture. I suppose that's a that's something in itself. Um, so we're all brutally open, honest, direct, transparent about everything. Um, some people find that, I think, um, a bit difficult to deal with. Um, I'd like to say that we had the emotional well-being in there right from the start, and we kind of did, but in a startup environment, of course, it's, it's just sometimes it's the worst possible thing, right? Like it's extremely stressful, uh, working all day and night as well. So um, I think taking our funding has helped with that as well. We definitely put more things in place, more staff, um, and um, uh, and just you know, helping to share the work amongst the colleagues in general. So we tried from the start, but being a startup, it's not always been that easy. Well, it's fantastic to talk to you today, and I, I've really met CEOs who are so driven, so passionate, but also with the authenticity and humility, ah, okay. which I think is really important Thank you. for a great chief executive. And I wish you good luck with your adventures. Yeah, okay. Thank Thanks you very, very much. much. Cheers. Thanks.